future, something that did not continue. It just wasn't then. And that was the perfect moment. It wasn't the moment before. It wasn't the moment after. It was that moment. We're looking through these pictures. We're clicking through. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. I've seen that before. And then this, this frog in the Christmas light. I, we've never seen that no. before. How could you have seen that before? It's that composition, too. It's the inclusion of those three lights on the right. The red heart of the frog lit yeah. up. It's like E.T. It's, it's like E.T., e right. And then that chord going down. Like, each of those elements is necessary to make that composition as beautiful as it is. That's true. You could give me a page to read on this, and I would never believe why, how, this photographer happened to have his camera at this moment. That is magic. And who would ever know that bird activity would involve that thing? Pulling that one down by its tongue? Photographers can spend their life trying to photograph flickers and woodpeckers and never come across that moment of one bird catching the other bird by the tongue. No. It's just... That's like, that's one in a bazillion. The soldier is breakdancing and all his <laughs> friends are gathered around and if you, if you look close and you look into their expressions, you got... You, Everyone's like, oh, no, that is sick. I mean, they got these huge smiles and their, their eyes are closed because they're smiling so much. And this is this great moment of soldiers at ease. We do get a lot of black and white. And it's perfect for this one because the emphasis is on the emotion between these two people. Uh, the defiance of the child, of course, is just captured. It's like crosses all languages, all ages. I mean, who hasn't been that kid? You know, no, I'm not going to do that. You're sitting here looking at these caribou that are totally freaked out. There's this giant truck roaring across the landscape in the snow in the winter. Why was this photographer out there? Does he have a telephoto lens? Yeah, why was it a telephoto lens? Uh, and, you know, he's about to get trampled by these caribou who are about to get trampled by this truck. And why any of the elements of the scene, including the photographer, were in this place at the time, just, I will never know, and I will continue to look at that picture and wonder. I have seen this picture so many times that I continue to love it. It's just, it's a perfect moment. The hair is blowing, the lips are perfectly beautiful. Anyone would love to look at those lips, and... <laughs> it's perfect. I mean, it's we don't need to see her eyes. It's not about the eyes. It's mm -hmm. about the lips and the crayfish. This picture inspires wonder at the empathy of these animals for one of their own, but at the same time, mm. it crushes you emotionally. You can see it's just a moment. His foot is just moving past, they're just moving through. And the person on the right holding, gently holding the face as if she, she must have known that and, they all want to say goodbye. And he swaddled mm -hmm. in a wheelbarrow. Yeah, it's the combination of all the elements that make you stay inside the frame. You just keep whirling around in the frame. The entire activity is right smack in that frame. God, what a composition this picture is. Perfect light, perfect action, right peak action. And it all comes down to that tongue. You know, it just comes down to that one little thing. What were they doing with their camera and the fork laying there? And I'll then tell this you what they were doing. I think this is in Hawaii. <laughs> and they're sitting around, like, having a Mai Tai, eating their lemon meringue <laughs> pie, and they put down the fork and staring off at the water. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. And then, Look, there's a gecko on my pie. Get the camera! Bam. Bam. That's how it happens.